Rabbi Jonathan Kahn gave a prophetic warning to Biden in 2021 about what would happen if certain sinful legislation was put into place. Well, now that prophecy coming full circle in 2023. We're going to get into all the details of it here, guys, in just a second. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or wear the glasses because I'm blind. I remind you guys here, last day of the month, last day of December, help me out here with my goal for the month. Remember, we're trying to get to five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We got two so far. Remember, this is the last day. We need three more. This is going to take a big effort from all of you watching right now if we're going to hit the goal on the last day of the month. So more info in the description how you can help with that. Let's talk here about Jonathan Kahn. Rabbi Jonathan Kahn put out a prophetic warning, if you will, to Biden in 2021. And this was about being very careful to enact certain sinful legislations across America. And at the time, Khan had mentioned such legislation as getting rid of the little ones. We know what that means. Also, marriage, that being traditional marriage, warning against the opposite of that. And then finally, messing with kids and their gender. Now, of course, I'm, you know, saying these titles carefully for obvious reasons. But I think you know what I mean. Now, when this was presented as a warning, Khan had noted that he had hoped, he had prayed that the president would not do these things, would repent because if he were to enact this sinful legislation upon the country, it would bring certain judgment to it. Did Biden listen? The answer is obvious. He did not. Now, there's something to understand about this, because whether Khan knew this or not, we understand that people like Biden and so many others in positions of power, they couldn't care less about any sort of a prophetic warning given to them, because these are people that are firmly in the camp of the devil. The goal here is evident. In fact, I would say that this administration that's in place right now is the perfect administration to bring forth the very end. Now, what did Khan say more specifically about this legislation and where we're going now in 2023? More on that in a second. First, guys, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, I got to do this being that I get no monetization on the YT platform. It's the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me and my ministry. Remember, you can do it for just five bucks a month. Go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Help us with our goal for the month of December. Here at the time I'm recording this, last day of the month, we got two so far. We're still looking for three more. Can you guys pull it off? Can you make it happen on the last day for the goal? Also, here's the thing. When you sign up, you're going to be alerted for all my content. This is very important because if the only way you watch these videos is through the YT alert system, trust me, it's trash, it's garbage. You are not going to get notified every time new content comes out. Also, they're on Patreon. You can leave your comments on these videos, but you could do it completely censorship-free. You don't got to worry about YT blocking or removing what you're saying because it's happening more and more now. You guys could go there. We could have a nice, free-flowing discussion on these topics with no interference, no nonsense, no trolls. You could even send me direct messages as well. So check it out, patreon.com slash conservative truth. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. I want to highlight one specific here that Khan said about these legislations, that being marriage. If you remember, Biden had enacted this. He had codified in federal law, right, the Respect for Marriage Act, which is exactly the opposite of the name. It is the Disrespect for Marriage Act. And Khan had talked about this. And he says, what you have done is that you have taken the foundation, the, found, the founding principles about which this country um, was brought in for as far as it comes to marriage and really all around the world people who have always recognized traditional biblical marriage and you have completely flipped that around and at the same time you've spit in the face of god because you claim to be a christian well we know that is a lie we know that biden is not he parades himself as a catholic but that's just you know to to garner support from you know those catholics who are more left-wing minded and you know go along with these progressive ideals and such he says, because of this, 
He goes, you have brought judgment upon America with that, but also legislation to help get rid of the little ones and everything going on with kids and gender. Talks about how ancient Rome would be shocked if they saw what was going on before us today. We know that God has often used certain leaders, Christian leaders, and you go back in the Bible, I mean, you know, his prophets, to give warning about what was to come if people did not repent, if they did not get their act turned around. Now, whether or not Biden and his people have heard these prophetic warnings or not, they have chosen that they are going to side with the devil. And if they think that that, and here's the thing, that judgment, this is not going to come across America. It's going to come across them. Many people say, oh, well, we don't see the justice taking place. Why aren't these people in jail? Look, if they miss earthly justice by, you know, means of being locked up in prison, let's remember what's to come upon this earth during the tribulation period. The seven harshest years in the history of this earth, which the likes that will never be seen again. These people are going to have to deal with that when that time comes. Jonathan Kahn goes on here to say that the only hope for America and people like Biden in his cabinet is repentance. He talks about revival. Now, can God bring revival? He absolutely can. You want my personal opinion on it? I think that America has sealed its fate. But I want to speak to the individual because many people, they look at the government as the way things are going prophetically. And yes, that is true. They are making certain decisions and they are signing things into law that God cannot, he can't bless that. And he's going to take his hand off of that. Now, it doesn't mean, this is so important for you to understand, it doesn't mean that God still can't bless you. It doesn't mean that God still can't sustain you. It doesn't mean that he can't provide for you more abundantly than ever before. He can keep you in good health. What are you struggling with? Go to him. And I've said this before, and I'm going to continue to say it. You have to have a supernatural faith here in these last days. These things that we're going to be seeing now coming upon the earth is we're really going to start accelerating in 2023 with biblical prophecy. You have to be, you have to be rooted in the Lord. You have to keep your eyes fixated upon him at all times. No matter what the government is doing, no matter what immoral type of legislation that they're trying to enact and put into place, it doesn't mean that you still can't be blessed. And that is your hope that you can carry with you 2023 and beyond until the trumpet sounds and Jesus comes back. Speaking of hope, let me speak some more hope to you. That being the hope of accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is something that I do on all my videos is I give people the opportunity to give their lives to Christ. Remember, it's late in the game. Not much time left to accept Christ. Why not make today that day? This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just go back in your old ways, but to turn from your sin, those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he wipes your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. But then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again. A child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. Remember, it is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.